couple of you have asked, I think you've seen this before, why we have microscopes in an electronics manufacturing and design facility? Well, the truth is we have them because our parts today, which are called surface mount parts, SMT parts, are so damn small that we can't see them without the use of a microscope. So when we do repair work and whatnot, we've got to put this baby on and look over here. And yeah, back in my day, we could see them parts, but nah, no longer. Martin in Hong Kong. Again, one of my favorite cities of all times. I, there's a, a thing called the Star Ferry. And for those of you that have ever been in Hong Kong, it, it, it goes between what they call Central, which is actually Hong Kong Island, and Kowloon, which is the mainland that looks over Victoria Bay, that, which is one of the more beautiful cities in the entire world. And every time I go to Hong Kong, I, go, I put my 50 cents or my dollar or whatever it is, and I hop aboard the the Star Ferry, which looks like the African Queen. Remember the old Humphrey Bogart movie? Um, boy, it looks just like that, like an old river boat. And it chugs across from, from um, I like to go from, from Kowloon. Uh, and what's the name? Oh, um, ah, can't remember it now. The, the Chinese name for where I like to go. But it's right down by the Opera and the Arts Center. And you, and you go across... Victoria Bay over to say the convention center or downtown Hong Kong. It's just just lovely And I'll just go on that walk around a little bit turn around come on back because Star Ferry and I Have bonded so if you're ever in Hong Kong do not miss the Star Ferry. It's like a five-minute ride It's nothing Okay, and I get seasick so don't you know if you get that way don't worry about it There's no chop in Victoria Harbor uh, Paul, there's a lot of different materials for connectors. Yes, that is true. Gold, silver, rhodium, etc. As well as a lot of different types of material for the cables. Copper, 6N, 7N, oxygen-free, perfect surface copper, etc. And silver. Silver clad, silver plated, silver, solid silver, perfect silver. Um, are, are there any rules of thumb on what type of materials are better than the other and which are generally better for different types of components, for amps um, or even video components? Yee, you're going to get me in a ton of trouble and I'm going to be answering comments from <laughs> people. <laughs> um, I can tell you that without question, cables sound different with different materials depending on what we're doing with it. Um, I'm not a big believer in connectors. I mean I think connectors should be gold-plated because when they're gold-plated and we gold plate everything that's 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 important to gold plate it doesn't oxidize the the copper or whatever is below it does not oxidize and that's important because if you if you have materials that will oxidize you get a layer of oxidation that that will inhibit conductivity and so you know you can buy uh, gold plated connectors for a very low cost and I don't think thick gold or thin gold I, I know I know people will you know, oh you're just wrong the rhodium ones sound ten times better and yeah I've I've heard those differences to be honest I've kind of just shied away from that a little bit because while while they may be there may be differences to be heard I don't find them big a quality connector that's gold plated is going to give you 99.9% .9 of the performance that you want that said a pair of silver cables will sound different than a pair of copper cables they they have different conductivity levels, and people will argue with me all day long as to the reasons why they sound different. But you, you know, you've heard you've if you've been in this business long enough, you've heard it. I have a pair of silver cables. How are they going to sound? They're going to sound brighter. They're going to sound the top end will be more present on a pair of silver cables than it will be on copper cables in general, and. I know. Um, I've got, as, as, as this YouTube channel builds, I, I've got people who really enjoy hearing 
the engineering side, which I'm trying to bring here. And then they get mortified, horrified, just like, you, you're an engineer. How, how I mean, you, you design this stuff. You know, how can you possibly say that uh, silver sounds different than copper? And I'm just, you know, it does. And I, I don't feel bad. I'm not going to, uh, you, you can all just abandon uh, that or just ignore these crazy ones that we talk about this. We, we have found differences in copper. Um, the PCOCC, which is a, a way of making, normally copper uh, is drawn. So if you make a copper wire, typically it will go through a die and it's actually pulled through a little, little hole, kind of like pasta, that, which is extruded. So an extrusion is where you shove something through a little hole and to draw it is to actually pull it through that same sort of hole. And so wire is pulled through, which does change the, uh, the, the crystalline structure of copper very clearly. I mean, I don't think anybody, engineer or not, is going to argue about that because you can see cutaway photos of, of copper that's been drawn or cast, which PCOCC is. It's a casting process that gives uh, the single crystal copper. It's one long crystal instead of a whole bunch of, of barriers inside to the electricity. Now where people will, uh, no one's going to argue that because it's just a fact and it's a fact that you can see. Where people will argue uh, all day long, and I, I hate getting in the middle of it, I can just offer my 40 years of experience and opinion on it, and I'm not trying to sell you anything, I'm just giving you what I, I know to be true. Um, what they'll argue about is, yes, of course, in, in a drawn cable, you can crack that open. You can see all the barriers, the way the crystalline structures are going. It's very different than a cast, or it's different than in silver. That it has a impact on sound quality is where they will argue. Because, well, and, and we're not going to get into that. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do hear that in, in cables, though I will tell you that straight up, construction of the cable plays a far greater role, in my opinion, than the materials themselves. So the geometry of the cable, whether it's twisted or braided or, you know, all of those things, and, and braiding lowers inductance, and there's all kinds of stuff that, you know, the, the way the capacitance uh, builds up in a cable, all of those have measurable effects on cables. And so that construction of a cable uh, it tends to be more audible than the actual materials, but yes, within that you can hear differences on a resolving system like what we have here in Music Room 1. Guys, you're going to get me in trouble every time. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> Bye.